How is everybody doing? This is AKA OnStar, and welcome back to another week of Battle Mag. Where we try to confuse Battlefield 3 for another game altogether. Uh, I first want to have an apology for the long hiatus. Um, take one part chronic depression, uh, one part equipment breaking, uh, one part loss of ideas and interests. Stir it all together, and we get a big old pile of shit happens. But I'm back, and hopefully for good. Um, this week we are coming back with the Raven DLC Assault Rifle, the Gotha Elite, and it's Battlefield 3 conversion, the M416. Now, I originally uh, picked this pairing uh, purely for visual fields, not the only gun that fits the Gotha Elite, because there isn't a direct uh, uh, translation. As I was experimenting with the gun, I realized that they're actually very, very similar stat-wise. They're both very, very dominant assault rifles and do really well in their respective alignments. The first, the, the Gotha Elite, it's a Tier 4 assault rifle from the DLC. And as tier as a Tier 4, it's a very, very... some would call it overpowered. I wouldn't. It, it's a balanced gun in its own tier. It's got a it's got a highest uh, high rate of fire, bit high rate of fire, uh, really good accuracy uh, compared to the rest. Of them. And it, the damage isn't the best, especially compared to like the uh, Sever Tamson or uh, whatever the ACR the M31 or whatever it's called for the Valor. But it's a still it's a very strong, very accurate weapon, and it translates over rather well. The the allowed attachments are, there's five this time, there's the two optics, there's the reflex for the red dot, and then the four times is the PKA, and then there's three attachments for the rails and whatnot. And, you know, it might seem like, there, it's like it's a little bit compared to what it gets normally, but it's the silencer, the four grip, and then the uh, 320 grenade launcher. So, it's a very well rounded weapon. And the footage you're watching right now is it's a bit it's a bit older. I did it back I recorded it back before the game came out. And I'm premium PS3 so that tells you a little ways back. Um, but I, I played it a couple days ago, I went through and played with it on uh, OnStar instead of Frieza. And I was trying to figure out, you know, get a get a feel for the gun before I actually recorded this so I can refresh myself. And I had just unlocked it, because I don't play Assault very often, so I, I like, just unlocked the gun. So I was running around, no attachments, nothing. And the thing is still a beast. It's easily one of the trifecta for the Assault class of the M16, AEK, and M416. And it, it doesn't have the power or the fire rate of the 16 or the uh, AEK, but it's got the accuracy. And it is... It's very, very strong uh, in that field because the M16 has up and to the right, the AEK is up and to the left, and this uh, 416 is just dead center, especially if you have the foregrip on. That thing is just like a laser. It's so, it's so straight, and it's a very, you know, the damage like the Gotha isn't the best compared to the other, um, the other, th other two assault rifles that it competes with, but. Even with a silencer, the accuracy is what kills. Because you can keep fire on that guy on your target really, really easily. And that's what made it enjoyable, is here I am with no attachments. You know, a little bit clumsy iron sights, but you know, you can still use it and I'm dropping people from range. And it was really, really nice. So overall it's a really, really good gun. Easily one of the you know, contenders for you know, best best assault rifle. That crap, um, and <coughs> excuse me, I enjoy it. You know, it's a fun gun. It's easy to use. And it kills people. <laughs> That's all that matters. Is it kills people before they kill you? But I enjoy it. You know, try it out, have fun. But this has been AKA OnStar. Don't get lost.